A Jedi will always seek the truth. I will study the mysteries of the Force and act with calm and clarity. I will expose the dark side's deceit. Fight our allies. And with the force on our side. Justice will prevail. back guys where we actually last left off still working on chapter one that's the sir ferrets currently running around annoying because she actually can turn off my screen that way <laughs> I really don't want that so yeah Also, all the noise you guys all are currently hearing is she running ar around behind my PC for some... Behind my screen is actually not real my PC, but yeah. Anyway. But yeah, she cannot even actually get behind my PC if she really wants to. Let's just hope she never wants to because... Holy shit. Ah, the summit. Here we are. Now this doesn't look r good. Manchi doti puna puna, kabuk nuni slemo. I have Master Sedoni's permission. Kabano tase makipuna, mali tuta odmishka. There we go. That wasn't too hard, was it? Huh, big guy? Didn't really want to kill these guys, but fine. So again guys, I'm bench recording all of these episodes from now on for on Tuesday, so don't be worried if I didn't read any comments that you guys posted on the last feed, but yeah. Ah, uh, here we are. So here it is, laid bare before you, the irrefutable evidence. House Ald has been conspiring against House Organa for years, preying on their good trust. House Thule is the reason the Pantir heir was assassinated. And House Ulgo is merely a puppet of House Wrist. Lies! All lies! There are holographic recordings, documents. You can't argue with hard evidence. We trusted you. How dare you! You will meet our armies on the field of battle! Please, everyone. There must be another way besides war. Calm down. My brother's murder went unsolved for 20 years, and you expect me to sit across from his murderer and stay calm? Just keep quiet, Jedi. I do this for the good of the galaxy. This is not the way. I am a strategist, Jedi. First and foremost, I live by variables and outcomes. I have calculated the future, and for the galaxy to have peace, there must be war on Alderaan. I will not be shaken from this course. Let's not let this fall to violence. No, this is it. The perfect, pure strategy. You're a fouler liar than House Wrist. House Wrist takes exception to that characterization. Murderer? That was 30 years ago. We had an alliance. House Organa has heard enough. 
It's clear to us that there can be no other course but war. Master Sidoni set you up for this. She would see you all destroyed. This child is barely more than a Padawan. Disregard him. Master Sidoni is the only one telling any truth at this summit. Don't insult her integrity. You would defend her, Organa. You've always been a little too friendly with the Republic. At least they didn't murder the heir to the throne. We didn't murder anyone! Rist did! Yes, Rist put that usurper on the throne, but you ordered the hit. Usurper? Our reign is as legitimate as any other. Isn't there a court that can handle this sort of thing? Where would you find an impartial judge? Everyone's allied to someone. These accusations go back 30 years! 30 years of betrayal and treachery! If you can't work together and trust each other at a peace summit, where can you? Exactly. We can't trust anyone. No, wait. Doesn't the Jedi have a point? We came here to make peace. That was before we learned each other's true colors. Was that really such a revelation? Every one of us was guilty of something. Surely we expected everyone else to be doing the same. No, there must be war on Alderaan. The darkness is coming, and I must stop it. Master Sidoni? Listen to her! She wants war! Fight the illness, Master Sidoni. Come back to the light. Jedi, if you will not agree to be silent, then I will silence you myself. The darkness is coming, Jedi. War must rage on Alderaan for fifty years, and only then can we put an end to the darkness. But you haven't won yet. Once you're out of the way, I'll make them see. Alright, so I guess we'll have to basically just fight her again. Well, actually, it's the first us. time we fight her, but... Perfect. Yeah. Let me just stun you for a little bit. There we go. Backstab, backstab, back... Stupid woman. There we go. Nice shooting, Terran. Nice in the head. Alright. Not sure how she's still alive, but fine. No, I won't fail. Not again. I'm so sorry, Parkanus. I failed you. I tried to keep the darkness from coming, but I failed. You're not the first person to mention Parkanus. It's my fault Parkanus died. Malachor III. I miscalculated. He had to be left behind. He died because of me. Vinegar! My head! Please, I can't block out his voice any longer. You must kill me to silence him. Do you know who Lord Vivicar is? Or where he is? I don't know. I can't see into his head, but he can see into mine. Please, Jedi, you have to free me. You have to kill me. It's not time for you to die. Jedi? What? How did you... I don't understand. My mind is clear again, and you're weak. Will you be all right? What did you do? It was that or death, so I expect some gratitude. Of course, Jedi. I am extremely grateful. For a while, I thought I was able to block Lord Vivicar's voice from my mind. If you hadn't been there with your calm sense, I don't know what would have happened. I saw what Lord Vivicar was able to do to Master Yuan. I'm not surprised he was able to twist your thoughts as well. You are most understanding, Jedi. I will contact the Jedi Council. I'm sure they'll want a full explanation. I think I can safely speak for all present when I say that the summit applauds your efforts. Indeed. But I have to say, Jedi, I'm at a loss as to how to proceed from here. Let there be a truce and let the summit reconvene at a later date to work on a formal peace agreement. The summit will reconvene at a later date to discuss the details of a peace agreement. Thank you again, Jedi. There we go, back to our hangar on Alderaan, and then we're done. Finally, right, T T Terran? I mean, where the hell did that lightsaber thingy go? 
I'm pretty sure she actually tried to stab me with it. Alright. Fine. Oh yeah, hold on, didn't I actually have an armor set? Yeah, I will will be equipping that in the next uh, next uh, chapter, guys. Actually, when we finally finish chapter 1, which will be for me today. For you guys, it will be on Thursday, I believe. Probably house uh, Aldo or whatever the hell they're called. Yeah, I think peace was actually the best idea for them. Right, Terran? Merely oh. scratch. Right, here we go. Jedi, I hear the summit has agreed to continue peace talks. Thankfully, the delegates saw reason. Thankfully, indeed. We all owe a debt of thanks to you and Master Sidoni. My only regret is there's no talk of removing House Olgo's noble status and lands once the war is over. I didn't want to risk undoing the peace by inciting another conflict. That was probably the wisest course. I just can't feel safe as long as Olgo commands an army. But what am I saying? House Tyrell is far safer now with peace in view and Organa as an ally than we ever were. And I have you to thank. I did what I had to do. Nothing more. You've done House Tyrell an invaluable service. I hope you will come visit us again. Of course, don't worry about it. Right. Back to our ship's hollow terminal, and then we're we'll be done. Kaizen, prep the engines. We're taking off. Right. Let's report back into Master Studio and then we'll probably be speaking with Kaizen and everyone else. Well, actually, with Terran, apparently, only. Master Sidoni just checked in. She seems well, but very frustrated with herself. She reports that you were able to prevent war from breaking out on Alderaan, however. You've once again done very good work in a tense situation, Jedi. I did my best, given the situation. The Council has come to expect nothing less of you. Tell me, did you learn anything new about the Plague Master, Lord Vivacar? She told me he was in her head, influencing her actions. I see. Master Sidoni was the last of the Lost Masters, and yet Vivacar still eludes us. Return to us here on Tython immediately, and we will discuss what you have learned. Lord Vivacar cannot remain hidden forever. Oh, fine. Guys, and prepare to set course back to the freaking. back to Titan. Let's just take that one for later on. I believe level 42 is when, when we actually gain that ability. But this way we actually already have the buff for it. I have unfortunate news. Do you remember our mystery capsule and the letter? Holiday made the chemical just as she promised. I thought applying it to the letter was the answer. But when I tried, it completely dissolved. We are left only with vapors. There must be something else you can try. That chemical is the answer. I know it. But without another lead... Wait. The capsule the letter came in. I kept it to study the lock. I could apply the chemical to that instead. Is there anything I can do to help? Your generosity does you credit, but I have everything under control. Holiday, come back online, my dear. We have a new avenue of inquiry. All right. Success! Our mystery capsule has finally yielded its secrets. Converting the chemical to a gas was the ticket. We managed to fill the capsule. And all these words started glowing on the inside. We found the real message. Isn't that super? You must be very proud of yourselves. It gets better. The message is from the Luminatus Club, a veritable who's who of the galaxy's finest scientific minds. An invitation to join them. The Luminatus Club only accepts the best. The pioneers in their field 
All these years in obscurity, and my genius has finally been recognized. That is truly excellent news. This means I can enter the club's annual symposium, my creations against those of my fellow scientists. The symposium winner will be the darling of the Luminatus Club. It wouldn't be unreasonable to consider them the greatest scientist in the galaxy. You'll need something truly special to stand a chance of winning. I think universal adoration and the symposium's grand prize are worth pursuing, don't you? Pardon me, Jedi. I must accept the club's invitation, then start thinking of the finest symposium entry ever created. All right, fine, fine. Anyway, Kaizen, is the ship ready for uh, takeoff? With this, well, we'll see. I'm back on to Titan. Thank God, it's exactly in the same uh, region. And let's speak with the Jedi Council. But yeah, still nothing of uh, who this Lord Vivicor is. But I have a pretty much. I have a, actually, I actually know who it is. But uh, again, if you guys all don't know just yet, I won't be spoiling it. But I think you guys all also already know. Anyway, Titan. That actually never changed. I do love the loading screens uh, in this game. If you actually are loading into a planet, for example, on Titan, where you see the Jedi standing with his lightsaber in the Kalet ruins. I have to say, that's nicely drawn, I have to say. Jedi initiate, protocol droid. And onto Titan surface. There we go. Not sure why we can't la land on Titan itself, but fine. Right, rock boots. And here we are. Right. You summoned me, Master Seal. Welcome home. I wish we could greet you with better news. Despite using every avenue available to us, we are no closer to finding Lord Vivicar. Actually, I believe we are. A common thread binds all the plague victims. The loss of Parcanus Tark at Malachor III. Vivicar's influence forced the sick masters to relive their failures on Malachor. This is revenge. Personal revenge. Only one man would have that much anger and pain. The man who was left behind. I believe Lord Vivicar is Parkanus Tark. Jedi, Parkanus is dead. Far from it, Jarek. Yuan? I told those Padawans to keep an eye on you. You must rest. No. My pupil, my fellow Jedi, deserves to hear the truth about Malachor. Then tell us, Master Yuan. Malachor Three isn't just strong in the dark side. The planet is the resting place of the Sith Lord, Terak Moraj. Our work on Malachor woke Moraj's spirit. One by one we fell under his power. The things we did still haunt me. The Noeticons on Coruscant said that Terek Moraj originally created the plague. Then I've been punished appropriately. We paid a terrible price to break free of him. Parcanus was the youngest and weakest. We had to abandon him to Malachor's darkness. His sacrifice allowed the rest of us to escape. But it seems he survived and has taken Murridge's dark path. You knew Vivicar when he was Parkanus Tark. How can I stop him? I must make amends. I have a plan to help you find Vivicar. If the play created a link between my mind and his, your shielding ability may allow me to use that link to find him. No. You're already weak from the plague, Yuan. This could kill you. Master Yuan knows what she's doing. I have meditated on this. Any other avenue would take too long. Rather intrepid, isn't she? It's quite fetching. Very well, Yuan. But we will monitor the ritual. And your former Padawan must stay at your side. Thank you, Sio. I will go to the meditation chamber to prepare. Please meet me there when you're ready. Uh, 
Uh oh. I, uh, to be fair, um, now I'm actually second guessing myself. If it was actually the best way to approach this situation, but. Yeah, actually, to be fair, we actually are getting weaker and weaker by every Jedi Master he's uh, uh, crafting. Alright, here we are. Thank you for coming. I have made all the preparations for the ritual to find Lord Vivica. I plan to create a connection between us, using your shielding ability. If it is, was, Parcanus, this should work. Drawing on your strength, I will invert the link between myself and Vivica and use it to sense his location. This ritual sounds dangerous for both of us. There are risks. For one, the shielding you gave me on Coruscant will be severed. I don't know what will happen then. It's possible I could die once your shield is gone. You must resist, Master Yuan. Don't give Vivikar another victory. With your strength to sustain me, we will do what we can. No matter what happens, you must give me as much time as possible. Reversing the link may be a long process. Let us begin. Yes, yes, it's working. I can feel his mind, and I, I, I can feel I... She can feel the power that she's challenging. There is no hope. Jedi, you don't look as strong as you did last time we spoke. Yuan has drained your strength and made herself vulnerable to me. Still arrogant and reckless. You were once Parcanus Tark. A brave Jedi. You could be that man again. The past means nothing. All that matters is the future, which doesn't involve you. See how Yuan's will crumbles before mine. Fitting that two of my enemies will destroy each other. Uh, once... one question. That's quite yeah, I was already thinking, why the hell does Master Yuan have a red lightsaber? There we go. And here we are back. Back on your ass, Master Yuan. It... it worked. Listen, Lord Vivica, he's out in deep space on some sort of vessel. Here, take the coordinates. He surrounded himself with defenses. Send this. It's his code. It will give you time to get aboard. No. The darkness. Vivica's will is too strong. I... I can't hold on. Please kill me. End it now. There's a better way, Master. The darkness, it's gone. But you look exhausted. You have sacrificed so much for me. It's the Jedi way. I... I must rest. Please, go to Master Seo and the Council. They should hear of what we've learnt. So wait, I basically shield six Jedi Masters and I don't get to rest. I need to go immediately back up to the freaking Jedi Council. I really do hate this Jedi Order. I really do hate it. That's at least from the Jedi Consular's perspective. First they sent me on a suicide mission. After that they... yeah. The ritual was a success. Lord Vivicar is out in uncharted space, but he knows I'm coming. Now only your shielding talent can stop him. You've shown great fortitude and saved your master despite the odds. But Lord Vivicar will have made preparations, and he still has his greatest weapon, the Plague. Now that I know who he really is, I could return Vivicar to the light. A noble thought, but don't take unnecessary risks. Your shielding ability is our only hope. Go to the coordinates quickly, before Vivicar strikes back. And Jedi, may the Force be with you. 
Yeah, no shit, Master Sion. Of course my shielding ability is the only reason you guys are still around. Because I can't teach it to other people. Ugh. It's getting really annoying. Sure, yeah, so you need speed in uh, helping out the other Jedi Masters. But come on! Could have at least taken a Padamon with me. And teach it already to a few. I'll probably be finished by now. But no, no! Stupid Jai. Right. Here we are. Next up, Lord of Ship. Now this episode will be a little bit shorter than... Well actually, yeah, this episode will be a little bit shorter than normal because I'm actually gonna end the episode off right here. I know we still have like 5 minutes left, but... Yeah, guys, I'm gonna end the episode off right now and I'll see you all in just the next episode. Bye, guys.